accidents and safety any event that happens unexpectedly and harms people is called an accident accidents are caused sometimes due to our own carelessness sometimes due to that of others accidents can take place anywhere and at any time we must therefore ensure that we are always alert and also take safety precautions wherever we may be at home on the road at the swimming pool etc safety on the road if there is no footpath walk on the right side of the road then you will be able to see the oncoming vehicles cross the road only when the traffic has stopped cross the road only at the zebra crossing look right then left then right again before crossing the road do not run on the road do not get into or off a moving bus children must never go out unaccompanied by an adult never listen to music using earphones or headphones when on the road safety at home although the home is a protected environment there are chances of accidents happening at home too most accidents at home happen in the kitchen or while handling electric appliances or children handling sharp and pointed objects golden rules of safety at home prevention is always better than cure every home must have proper electrical wiring and a fire extinguisher to deal with fire accidents in the kitchen never leave objects like nails scissors toys or balls lying on the floor someone might get hurt or trip and fall never handle any electrical instrument which is not working properly without first switching it off never go near fire unless there is an adult present do not distract your mother or any other person while she or he is cooking if you have to use a stool to reach a high shelf see that the stool is of the right height it should be strong and sturdy if water spills on the floor it should be wiped off immediately to prevent someone from slipping on it always be alert to the smell of gas in case of a gas leak in such a situation open all the windows and doors of the house and switch off the mains safety while handling electrical appliances we cannot do without the fan the refrigerator the television and so on can we these appliances are very useful and make our life easy and comfortable 
we must therefore learn to use them correctly and avoid accidents at home children must never handle electrical appliances on their own never use a new electrical appliance without reading the instructions manual carefully switch on or off a plug or device with dry hands only a faulty electric wire plug or fuse must be repaired by an electrician only in case a person receives an electric shock shut off the mains immediately safety in the swimming pool splashing in a swimming pool is a sure way to have summer fun but it's important to make safety a priority to protect yourself and others in and around the water do follow these safety measures to have an enjoyable swim children must never go for a swim unattended never dive into a shallow swimming pool A learner must always use a float and must swim at the shallow end of the pool in the presence of the coach. Do not run along the swimming pool or startle anyone. Do not pull anyone from or push anyone into the water. first aid accidents generally cause hurt or harm the immediate help given to a person in such a situation before a doctor arrives or the person is taken to a hospital is called first aid It is always good to know more about first aid since it can save someone's life. If you do meet with an accident, remember the following golden rules. Do not panic since it can frighten the person who is hurt. Instead, calm down the injured person if there is an accident in the absence of an elder person around call your neighbors for help immediately do not leave the injured person alone call up the doctor immediately a first aid kit we must always be prepared for unexpected emergencies it is important to maintain a first aid kit at home in fact it is a good idea for every child to make his or her own A first aid kit should contain the following things. A roll of cotton wool, an antiseptic cream or lotion, adhesive bandages, a crepe bandage, paracetamol tablets, a pair of scissors, a pain relief cream or spray burns bleeding wounds or insect bites burns 
bleeding wounds or injuries due to insects or animal bites must be given specific kind of first aid. It is always better to have a trained person or someone who has knowledge of first aid. Burns Hold the burnt area under cool running water. Then put an ice pack on the burnt area. You may also dip the burnt area in cold water. This will give great relief to the injured person. Apply an antiseptic cream on the burnt area. Cuts and bleeding wounds In the case of cuts and bleeding wounds, it is very important to stop the bleeding as soon as possible. Also, as with all kinds of injuries, great care must be taken to avoid infection. Wash your hands with soap before giving first aid to the patient. A clean cotton pad or cloth should be placed firmly over the wound. This will stop the bleeding. Make sure that the bleeding part of the injured person's body is kept raised. Place an ice pack on the part that is bleeding. Once the wound stops bleeding, it must be cleaned with an antiseptic solution. Then, place a cotton pad over it and tie it up with a bandage. If the cut is caused due to a rusted object such as a rusted knife or pin, the person must be given an anti-tetanus injection. Insect stings The affected area must be thoroughly cleaned with soap and water or lime water. Placing ice wrapped in a cloth or an ice pack on the affected area for about 10 minutes will reduce the burning sensation. Apply a soothing cream or lotion thereafter. We now know a few safety and first aid measures to follow.